Good Monday morning, Jaguars. It's me, Mr. Krieger, and I am here with my good friend, uh, Desiree. And uh, Desiree is going to interview me about something that is very exciting and hopefully that you're going to get on very soon, which is our new playground uh, on our back playground. So what are some of the questions that you have for me, Desiree? My first question is, why are we getting a new playground? Hmm. Well, we looked at the playground that we had and we thought, you know what, we can probably do a little better. And then that playground was almost 20 years old. And as it was getting older and older, some of the stuff started, started to get unsafe. And we felt it's time to make a new playground that's better and safer for everyone and maybe even include more people on it. My second question is, when did you start thinking of getting a new playground? Uh, I started thinking about getting a new playground here about three years ago, but then I knew that it was going to be happening this year. So myself and a team of teachers, we went around to like five different elementary schools. We played on a bunch of the equipment. We took a couple of Jefferson kids with us, and then we kind of said, all right, here are the things that we think you guys would like on the playground. Do you think we did a good job? Yeah. You think we got it? You guys are going to find out, yeah. And then my third question is, why did we get wood chips instead of rocks? Yeah, if you noticed out there, there's wood chips rather than the rocks. And we're finding out now the people, they have to follow a whole bunch of different codes to keep everybody safe. And that the wood chips are safer than the rocks. You saw those barriers around there. There's like 12 inches of wood chips. So if somebody were to fall off of any of that equipment, they're going to land on the soft wood chips and it's going to be more consistent. So we're hopefully going to have less injuries with this new playground. The fourth question is, um, why don't we have a lot of swings? Oh. Well, you know how I would answer that question is we have more swings now than we have ever had before. There's a new tire swing that's out there, and but we don't have the big swings yet. Those might be coming. The committee, the group that I was working with, we kind of went back and forth about swings or no swings. There was a lot of pro swings, but ultimately it came right down to how much area is it going to be? How much can we afford? And so we went with the tire swing rather than the other swings. But at least we got some a swing now at Jefferson. The fifth question is, why is it taking so long to I, finish? I do not know. I wish it would go faster. But here's one of the reasons why. After it was finished, there's a piece where the inspectors have to come in and they have to make sure that everything that they said was going to be done was done and they have to make sure that everything is put together the correct way. Wasn't it the elevator that broke? The elevator didn't break. They couldn't install the elevator right away because they had to put the wood chips in first and then they had to come in, they attached the elevator and then they put hydraulic fluid in the elevator and uh, so it kind of goes all up and down. But I think we're going to be all right. I'm hoping that you guys, I'm almost certain that you guys will get on it this week. Maybe even today. Thanks for the questions, Desiree. Should we get to some uh, birthdays? Yeah. There is a number of birthdays, but we're going to start with a birthday yesterday. Abigail Ebert turned nine and she is in Mrs. Lorson's class. Today there are three birthdays. Isabella Swisher is turning seven in Mr. Helverson's class. Jamie Lynn Cartwright is turning nine. She is in Miss Fisher's class. And uh, Jordan Ramos is turning six. He is in Mrs. Colloy's class. Happy birthday to everybody who's having a birthday today. Tomorrow there are three more birthdays. Ella Lopez is turning seven in Mrs. Hel Mr. Helverson's class. Charlotte Heiss is gonna turn six in Miss Shiloh's class. And again, in Mr. Helverson's class, it, Asher Board, um, Boardman is going to have a birthday. He's going to be seven. Wednesday, Jakari Moore is turning nine in Mr. Claster's class. On Thursday, Brooklyn Rogers is going to turn six in Miss Shiloh's class. And on Saturday this week, Kari Malaber is going to turn eight, and she is in Mrs. Booth's class. I looked at the uh, schedule for the week. 
There's lots of things that are going on. I know some classes are participating in the alphabet countdown because there are 26 days left of school. And if your class is participating or everybody might be particip participating, we're starting with the letter Z today. We're wearing something with a zipper. On Tuesday, we're gonna try to wear something yellow. On Wednesday, we're going to exchange autographs. On Thursday, we're gonna wear white. And on Friday, we're gonna dress like you're going on a vacation. V for vacation. Field trips are continuing. Second grade, you have a field trip on Monday. Today is your field trip. And on Wednesday, fourth grade, Desiree, do you know where you're going? Um, Old World, Wisconsin. You're going to Old World, Wisconsin on Wednesday. And there's also something else that I need everybody, all the Jaguars to do, and because it is Teacher Appreciation Week. So uh, right now, turn around and uh, or look at your teacher and thank them for everything that they have done uh, for you thus far this year. Do it, quick. They're doing it, but they're doing it really, really silent. <laughs> There's lots of things that are happening this week for Teacher Appreciation uh, Week. Any last thoughts on the playground? No. I got one. And I don't know how this is going to work, and I bet you guys are going to try to figure this out, and uh, maybe even a class can figure this out too. I noticed there's a QR code out there, and then there's an app that you can download onto a phone or an iPad, and then there are also some other things that are placed around that playground. I don't know what that is all about, but I'm kind of curious on how that's going to be interacting. So you guys got a challenge to figure out at some point, and then uh, let me know what that is, because I'm very, very curious. Let's end with the creed, Desiree. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. I am a unique and important student at Jefferson Elementary. I believe in myself and my ability to work with others, persevere, learn, and keep others safe. I am a Jefferson Jaguar and I am ready to succeed. Have a great week, Jaguars. Bye.